Hey guys, today I'm going to show you two different ways to attach a shaft to a servo. On the way in I grabbed the 9380 TH servo made by Hitech. Uh, this little guy is one of their new servos and it's quickly becoming a favorite. It's brushless so it's got a ton of torque, it's got great precision, uh, but it's got just absolute gobs of holding torque as well. So if you have a robotic application that has a continued load on the servo uh, and it has to hold it there for a long time, this one's going to be great because it's not going to generate much heat when that load is applied to it. Also good for you sailboat guys that are uh, really taxing your servos and eventually burning them out. This guy is going to hang in there and it's going to be a really good option for you. So getting into attaching a shaft to a servo, I've got two different options. The, um, the one that's been around a while is going to be a set screw shaft coupler. Uh, this is a, a little brass piece that's broached on one end and it's got a quarter inch diameter on the other end. So basically it fits right on the servo. And then you would take the servo screw, drop it down in there and screw it down to hold it in place. I'm going to skip that step for now. And then you would take a D-shaft. Uh, you want to use a D-shaft instead of a round shaft because it has a set screw and the set screw needs to fit on that flat um, to keep it from spinning, to, uh, to bite into it and keep it from pulling out. So basically that thing would slide in there and you tighten that down and it's going to hold it in place. So just like that. Um, this works really well in most applications, but for you guys that have concerns about a set screw or you want to re-index quickly once the project is assembled, I've got another good option for you. We just came out with this servo shaft. Uh, it's a, a really short little guy. It's 3 8 diameter and it's broached as well. It's made out of 7075 aluminum, so extremely strong and uh, it's going to fit on the servo and for this I'm going to go ahead and put the screw in. The uh, other thing about the 9380 uh, servo and the 9300 series in general they use 3 mil screws to hold the, the uh, servo horn on instead of 2.6 so if you guys lose them you can just go to the hardware store pick up 3 mil screw and put one in. Uh, it's, it's much more accessible to get parts for these. But uh, anyways so we've got the shaft on there, and then I grabbed a coupler. This happens to be a 3 8 to quarter inch coupler, and basically it just fits right over that 3 8 diameter. And for this, because we have a clamping style, I'm going to use a round shaft instead of a D shaft. So that guy slides in there, and then you've got two pinch bolts. I'm just going to snug these up a little bit. I'm not going to tighten them down very much at all. You could really put the torque on them uh, when you install that in, in your application, but so that's it. Um, you know, it holds the shaft in place. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and... There's no way that's going to pull out of there. Uh, I put a lot of load on that, and uh, there's just no way to pull it out once those things are clamped down. So a really great product. Um, like I said, you guys get it in there and realize you're two degrees off or something like that. You just loosen the two pinch bolts, rotate it a little bit, tighten them back up, and you're done. The other nice thing is... If you want to reuse that shaft in another project, it's not going to be marred up at all. It's not going to have any marks from a set screw or anything. So, great little new product from Servo City.